Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my dark knights, nice. it's the Bat Brand, and welcome. Let me adjust this little thing here to a brand new pack opening uh, here on the channel. Uh, let me adjust this just a little bit. There we go. Um, so, yeah, this is going to be, let me try and turn, there we go, much much better okay um i'm gonna t this is my first time using this new tripod so bear with me here um let me try and just go at it one at a time here but um i got some cards uh from amazon um forget where they were from i think they were from uh, pig, big play, something, big play, big play games or something like that. And, uh, yeah, that's much better actually. Um, and I got two packs of 40, uh, cards. And they said that there's guaranteed to have a good mix. They said that, um, I think they said 30 commons and then five holographics chance at a couple super rares. We can see what if we can get really good cards. I'm hoping to get them uh, put in my decks. And then um, I'm going to do another one here in the future here too of the Legendary Duelists uh, Season 1 because I'm trying to make a Toon deck. I'm trying to make a Crystal Beast deck. So if I can get those cards, that would really, really help. Um, I, I haven't had any luck with several. I'm also trying to make a Band of Keith theme deck um, centered around Dark Tight Machine Monsters. Hoping that, that works. And... Uh, uh, and then probably the next, if you guys enjoy these pack openings, I'll probably do another one with the uh, Ghost from the Past uh, boxes when they come out in April. But uh, hope you like my mat. This is my um, play mats that I use, um, the one in front of me. And then this one I actually bought off of Amazon as well. It's very nice. Um, as you can see, um, we got the XYG Dragon Cannon and uh, Blue Eyes White Dragon and... We're going to go through each one of these. Go. We may go through card by card. I don't know, but we're going to try to at least do what we can. I got 36 minutes I can do in this video. Let's get her started. So first card first, we have Fisher. That's a great card. Um, definitely, this is cards are definitely going to keep and use for my deck, some of them. So let's see what else we can get. Um, the D-Shield. See, D-Shield would be pretty good, but I already have a Destiny Hero deck with three copies of these, so um, I'm going to put these over to the side. Uh, Noisy Gnat. Uh, isn't this card banned? You send this card from your hand to the graveyard to increase the level of one monster on the field by one. That's not, that's not the worst thing. That's not the worst thing. I'll keep that in my check. Bamboo Scrap. Um... Oh, that's the other thing I also have. Come on, focus, camera. Focus. Come on, camera, focus. That's the best it's going to get. Okay. I'm just trying to adjust some stuff here. Bear with me. Um, but yeah, it seems like what it does is... Uh, tribute one plant type monster special summon two plant tokens. Okay, that'd be a good card. I'm doing a Akiza theme deck, so that'd be perfect. Okay, I actually own one of these cards, Yuki Misumi, the Ice Mayakashi. That card would actually not be bad because um, I know that's an archetype, the Mayakashi. Eternal Galaxy. If you control a photon or galaxy monster, target one of these monsters you control. Special summon from your extra deck and one photon or galaxy Xyz monster that is four ranks higher than that target by using this target as material. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're, we're using that. Diana the Light Spirit. Can be normal, cannot be normal summon its at must be for special summon from your hand by banishing one light monster from your graveyard. Once per turn during your opponent's end phase, gain 1,000 life points. Okay, that is perfect for a uh, light theme deck. If you're using a blue eyes deck or a galaxy theme, that, that would be perfect. Concentrating current. 
Target one face-up monster you control. It contains attack to its current defense until the end of this turn. Okay. That's not bad. That's not bad. Uh, Bear Blocker. I already have this card. It is a decent card to use if you want to, um, um, like, protect your spell and trap cards. So, we'll keep that there for now. Ooh, Agave Dragon. Okay. Uh, what does this card do? This card is Link Summon. You can apply the effects in sequence. Depending on the types of monsters in this in the graveyards, skip over any that do not apply. You can only use the effect of Agave Dragon once per turn. Inflict 100 points of damage for your opponent for each dragon. This gain gains 200 attack for each dinosaur. All monsters your opponent currently controls lose 300 for each sea serpent. Okay. You gain 400 life points for each worm monster. Okay, that's not bad, especially if you're running a just straight up like like if you this is this card's good for certain reasons, but it's only good if you're going against certain people. So like, I wouldn't use it per se. Um, subsurface stage divers. That's not nothing special really. Revenge of the normal. I know this card's pretty decent, especially someone level four or lower monsters from your hand up to the number of monsters your opponent controls. Wow, um, that's pretty good. Um, you can only activate it once per turn, that's fine. Preta Blast, if you're using Preta Plants, you can use that as a decent card for Preta Plants. Um, Austin Nato, Melodious Monsters, Invincibility Barrier, okay. Um, that card is really not that great for me to use, I would care less. Here we go, Threatening Roar. That's another copy. That's a good trap card. And it's a first edition. I didn't really check any of them as well. Um, let me check and see as well. If we can get some really good first editions, that would be good. So far, I've only gotten one. But that's a first edition threatening roar. That's not bad. Um, next, let's go march towards Ragnarok. Um, that's for Acer Monsters. I could care less about the Acer Monsters. Yeah, they're not good decks, really. Oh, Magic Planter. Let me get this in here real quick. Um, send one face-up continuous trap card you control to the graveyard. Draw two cards. Okay. Um, so if you're running, like, a Sacred uh, Beast deck, you can... Use that, I'll keep that. That's a good card. Inferno. Okay, that's a classic card. Must be, cannot be normal summon again. Uh, yeah, so if you run into fire, this thing's perfect if you run into fire deck, but that's pretty much it. Uh, Salomon Great Emerald Eagle. That's actually a really nice looking card, and um, it's one of the better, if not... The Salomon, one of the best Salomon Great monsters, other than Violet Chimera. Oh, here we go, TG Striker. This card is really good. Um, I just watched a progression series uh, episode where uh, Simo and Nim Nim open these packs that this card first came out in, and uh, this card is incredible. Let me run through the. Um, just the uh, description here. If only your opponent controls a monster, you can special summon this card from your hand, which is, first of all, great. Once per turn, and it's a tuner. Once per turn, during the end phase, if this card is in your graveyard because it was destroyed on the field and sent there, you can add one TG monster from your deck to your hand except TG Striker. So, that is a very good card. Uh, Shinuru Swordmaster. So, that's good if you're running a Shiranai deck. Wild Tornado. Target on one face up <coughs> card in the spell and trap zone. Destroy that face up card. Then it's controlled to concept one spell or trap card from their hand. If this set card is destroyed, target one card. Oh, that's actually really good. So, so like it has two effects to it. So that's that's a pretty good card. Triangle Ecstasy Spark. That's for Harpies. Harpy Sisters more effectively. Uh, the first monarch 
Is this for a Monarch deck special summon? This card has an effect monster. This card is also still a trap. If summoned this way, you can discard one card and then declare one tribute. This card becomes that tribute. Be treated as two summons for the tribute. The summon of a mon Okay, so a Monarch the deck. If you're running a Monarch deck, that would be perfect for that. Well, here we go. Storm Cypher. Uh, this is a Cyburst monster. I don't really understand any of the Cyburst monsters, to be too true with you. you. cannot attack directly or attack monsters in the extra monster zone. Unaffected by monster effects. Activated in the extra monster zone. Cannot be destroyed by battle. That card's actually pretty good if you're running Cyburst. Um, it's got a nice little effect to it. Oh, here we go. Next card is Beast King Barbarous. Beast King Barbarous. Um, that is a great card if you're running a Beast Warrior deck. I actually have a Beast and Beast Warrior deck, so um, I'll have to double check if I can put another copy of that in there. Another Invincibility Barrier. Another Threatening Roar. That is really good. That is really, really good. Um, Nordic Relief Drop Near. Again, stuff for AC or Nordic Monsters. Dark City. Um, this is basically the, the alternate of Skyscraper for Elemental Heroes, but this is for Destiny Heroes. I already have three copies. Not planning on using it, but still a very good card. Well, here we go. Supply Squad. I love this card. Once per turn, a monster, if a monster you control is destroyed by battle or card effect, draw one card. Yes. Putting that in my deck for sure. 110%. Insector Picophilania. Okay, so the Insectors are actually pretty good. Um, and this is another one that's like really decent. And, it's, and they give it a Link monster, so. Uh, Samorg Onslaught. Um, that's for some org monsters. I, I care less. Some ors are kind of, eh, they're a little iffy. Uh, target one Xyz monster you control and one monster your opponent attacks. So if you have an Xyz monster, that's a pretty good card to use for a counter. Omega Goggles. Okay, what is this? This got to be an older card because it has the, like, older text looking on it. Equip only to a monster you control. Once per turn, you can look at one random card in your opponent's hand. The equipped monster cannot attack the turn you activate this effect. So that is really good if you want to know, like, hand control and you want to see what they're holding in their hand. But it is... It's kind of crappy if you don't... Because you can't attack, so... Um, it's good, but it's not great. Uh... Sealing Ceremony of Raishan. I think I said that right. Once a turn, you can return one face-up wind monster you control to the bottom of the main deck to target up to two cards in your opponent's graveyard. Banish those targets. Okay, so say if I have... Let's say, for example, Dandelion. Dandelion's... Um, Danny Lion, is, I love Danny Lion, looks like he should be on uh, the, the token, should, looks like they should be members of Naruto. But say I have uh, a wind monster, I can use that and basically banish two monsters. So it's Icarus attack, basically. Uh, Seed of Deception, special summon one level two or lower plant type monster from your hand. Again, if you're running a plant deck, that's good for that. But I could use that in my Akiza deck, but then again... A lot of the cards that I run in the Akiza deck, they're to get out Black Rose. They're not two stars. Uh, Iron Core Armor, Goki Mirrors. Oh, Blade Fly. Okay. Blade Fly is an old classic card. And a first edition. If you guys didn't know back in the day, um, in the older times, this is an old, old card. Because um, if you can see right here, 1996. Uh, oh, wait, maybe it isn't. They all have that, I believe. Yeah, they do. Well, no, never mind. Don't. But back in the day, they put the first edition and stuff like that up on top. They didn't put it down in the bottom. So, this is an older card. Um, I will say that. So, Bladefly, if you're using a bug deck, weevil theme deck, that's perfect to go in there. Oh, here we go. Um, Talka Ochnir. His Malevolent Majesty. 
Um, let me read this card here. If this card is tribute summoned, you can destroy any number of face-up monsters your opponent controls whose combined attack is less than or equal to the original attack of the monster tributed to summon this card. Uh, that's okay. But it's not the best either. Because what does that apply? If it's I can you can destroy any number of face up monsters. But you have to almost sacrifice it. Whatever you tribute for it, everything can be destroyed equal it I, um, is it combined between all of the monsters or does it only have to be the one that's what i don't know I, so that card let me know in the comments down below that could be a really really good card well here we go we got a before mage damage juggler um i think these are one of our first rares in this set um before mages are pretty decent i know that from experience uh born of draconis Banish all light machine monsters from your graveyard. Special summon one level six or higher light machine monster. Oh, this would be really good in a cyber dragon deck. But I don't think I will use that. But still, that's a nice card. Backup secretary. Here we go. Another rare um, from this set. Another first edition. And that is a good for cybers, if you're doing cybers. Um, next card. Ooh, here we go. Star drawing. Star drawing. Of course, I only have 15% battery. Um, that's all right. Star drawing. If this card is used for an Z summon, you can treat it as a level 5 monster. An Xyz monster that was summoned using this card in the field as material gains its effect. If Z summon, draw one card. That card is probably going into my deck, just in the side deck or something like that, because that is a very good card, especially if I want to get out um, uh, an Aziz monster that requires two level fives. Uh, Engraver of the Mark is our next card. When your opponent activates a card or effect by declaring exactly one card name, you can send this card from your hand to the graveyard. Declare one other card name. Card name your opponent declared must becomes a card name declared. Dear Lord, um, this that's a lot. That is a lot. To that is just a lot. <laughs> okay, that's just a lot. Okay, here we go. Next one. Uh, Drytron Meteor Shower. Um, when your opponent normal or special summons a monster. While you control a ritual monster, negate the summon, and if you do, shovel that monster into the deck. So this is good to stop. This is basically, if you have a ritual monster out, you can basically use this to stop um, your opponent from normal or draw, uh, special summon, and it's basically a counter trap. Uh, Magistus Theory G. So this is for Magistus. I've never used Magistus. Don't really care for them. Don't really want to use them. Here's another Magistus. Magistus Invocation. Another Perform Age. Perform Age Hat Tricker. Ooh, Lila Light Sworn. Or Twilight Sworn Enchantress. Okay. So this is Light Sworn, but opposite. Oh, this is stuff to basically upgrade uh, up the Light Sworn monsters. Okay. And it's a hollow. Ooh, that's a nice hollow. Okay. They're definitely going to put that over to the side, our hollows. We'll put the hollows up here, actually. Here we go. I just have to readjust my camera. It's got to focus. Ooh, here we go. Um, this is the other hollow in the set. Signet back door. Um, which I know Davey loves this card. He uses it quite often in his Cyber Stacks in the King of Games series. If you guys did not watch that, those streams, go do that. You're missing out on some really good content there. Um, then next, we got Twilight Ninja Jokin. Um, you can reveal one Ninjutsu art card in your hand. Best summon this card from your hand. Okay. 
So this is a good card um, in a ninja themed deck. Do not have cards to make a ninja themed deck. But we will put that up there as it is our hollow. So we'll put those there. Next, what's sick? What psychic fighter? When this card is normal special summon, you can target one card in your opponent's graveyard. Place it on either the top or the bottom of their deck. Okay. Okay, that's not bad. And that looks really nice when you put it like this. Let me, let me see. Right there, right there. That That is beautiful. That is a beautiful card. And last card in this set. Horn of the Phantom Beast. That is a really good card for my beast deck. I'm definitely going to add that to my pile right there. And those are our hollows so far. We got one more pack, ladies and gents. We got one more pack. Um, Remove Trap is the first card. Okay. That's a good card. An old classic, too. Um, not a first edition, but still an old card. Dark Spirit of the Silent. Uh, which, that's a really good Bacora impression. Can I mind? Can I just get a... Get uh, some likes in the chat. Give me, give me some likes in the chat if you think I do a good Bacora impression. Um, this card is really good. Um, basically, what I can do is if um, when my opponent's attacking me, I can negate the attack, select another attacker, and have it attack. I, is it my opponent? Yeah, I can have it select another one of your opponent's face-up monsters and have it attack. Okay. Um, but, again, that's a good card if I was running, um, like, a Bacora deck, something like that. I would love to do that. But uh, Plant Food Chain is our next card. Um, equip this card to a plant-type monster you control. It gains a 500 attack. This card is destroyed by a card effect. You can smash summon one plant-type monster from your graveyard. That's actually really good for my Kiza deck. Um, we're going to keep that in there for sure, for sure. Uh, telepathic power, that is for psychic monsters. I don't use psychic monsters. But still, a good trap card. Cupid Dunk. Cupid Dunk. Oh my god. Cannot be destroyed by battle with a monster unless that monster has a higher level. Okay. Once per turn, you can increase... Wow, that's actually pretty impressive. Because you can just basically keep on upping its level so it can't be destroyed by battle. Okay. Okay. I see that. I see you. I see you. Okay. Uh, Eternal Galaxy again. You guys are saying... Come on. The camera's got to stay focused here. Uh, another Diana the Light Spirit. Come on. Diana the Light Spirit. Yes, that's a, oh, that's a Thunder Monster? I didn't know that. Okay. Uh, another Concentrating Current. Another Bear Blocker. Another agave dragon. Getting a lot of agave. A lot of duplicates in this one. Subsurface stage adapter. So it seems like it's good to get one out of this place. Not two. Because I, I, you're getting some cards that are different. But it seems like a lot of these cards I'm getting the same now. Like Revenge of the Normal. I'm getting a lot of those same cards now. From what it looks like. Predablast. Ostinato. Yeah. It looks... It's a vin invincibility barrier. Oh, here we go. This is different. Solomon Great Foxy. Okay. Solomon Great. Do not have a Solomon Great deck. See? Okay. See, here's another Nordic Relic. Solomon Great Gift. Okay. So that's a little different. So they did throw some duplicates. They're not at Ooh, Monster Reincarnation. Okay. Yeah, that's that's a decent card. I will take that. Cyber's Gadget. That's a very good card for a Cyber's deck. I do know that for a fact. Uh, Evil Swarm Manned 
Mandragora. Mandragora. If your opponent controls more or less than you two, you can special summon this card from your hand. It's not bad. It's not bad at all, actually. Um, put that there. Visibility barrier. Cyber Valley. That's just fantastic. That's a great card, even to have if you're not, even if you're not running a um, big like uh, Cyber Dragon deck. So, uh, just because it's effect. Mandolce Fresh Sis Start. Debunk. Okay. Debunk is not that bad. When a monster effect is activated in the hand or graveyard, negate the activation. And if you do, banish it. Okay. Another Solomon Great Emerald Eagle. Instant Neospace. Great if you're using Neospatians. Rise of the Solomon Great. Okay. This is the ritual to get Emerald Eagle. I need... I think I don't have that card. So, the Solomon Great deck is coming together. Another debunk card. Uh, tri triangle Ecstasy Spark. Ritual Beast Ambush. Closed Forests. All beast type monsters you currently control gain 100 attack for each monster in your graveyard. Field spell cards cannot be activated. Field spell cards cannot be activated during the turn. This card is destroyed. Okay, beast card. Beast monsters, beast warriors. That's great. Insector. We already got that. We've already went over that. Well, here we go. Virtual world. Exen. Exenhi. GG. Exenhi. GG. I know the virtual world cards are extremely, extremely good. So, um. Definitely for that. Charged into a Dark World. I have so many of these cards for the Dark World. Uh, Omega Goggles. Another Omega Goggles. A Major Upset. Tribute 1 face-up attack position level 2 or lower. Mo yeah, that's that really crap. That's really, that's really bad. Another Seed of Deception. Another Iron Core Armor. Let me actually bring these up here. Oh, Arcana Force. What would I call that? Arcana Force the Moon. We'll just call it that. It's Arcana Force the Moon. That's what it is. Okay. Uh, it's another star drawing. It's pretty good. Another Takatel. I think I'm saying that name right. Another Perform Age Damage Jungler. Juggler. Uh, another Born from Draconis. Another Engraver of the Mark. Another Backup Secretary. Okay, these Hollows better be good. Another Drytron Meteor Shower. Another Magistus Theurgy. Another Magistus Invocation. Another Performe Tat Tricker. Yeah, a lot of these are duplicates now. Mixed in with some new cards. Another Lila Twilight Sworn. Okay, but it's a Hollow. Another Twilight Ninja Jogan, okay. Another Watt Psychic Fighter. Another Horn of the Phantom Beast, I will take it. I will take it, and last but not least, a sign at back door. Okay, so all in all, not a bad pack opening. I mean, heck, it was... It was little. This was literally five bucks on Amazon. Um, but all in all, I mean, I got cards that really help my beast deck, really help just my main deck in general that I'm do using. And um, but yeah, this is this is very very good. I'm liking where this uh, the packs that I got in this. Uh, some of these have some bad like little like things on the side, but all in all, these are good cards from what they look like. Good quality. But, uh, yeah, thank you all so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy, please feel free. Hit that like button. goes a long way to helping me out in the algorithm. It also lets me know you guys are enjoying these videos. It also lets me know that you want to see more of these. Um, let me know if you want to see more pack openings. 
Um, and subscribe if you're new and you're just coming in and looking on these wonderful pack openings and you're wondering who is this guy. I do uh, gameplays, I do pack openings, I do many different things here on the channel and I want to do more. But uh, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Stay awesome, my Dark Knights.